Dr. Dorian is here, and thank you uh, for this because people have a lot of questions. Let's start with... I'm just curious, does he kill the coronavirus? You know, seasonality uh, is often seen with different viruses. Right now, with the coronavirus, it doesn't seem to appear true. COVID-19 is around the world, both hemispheres, where it's hot and cold, and it is spreading. So I don't think heat is going to be a big factor here. Next question. Is hand sanitizer really better than soap and water? So hand sanitizer is better at killing the virus instantly, but hand sanitizer doesn't take grime off your hands. Both equally are good. If you had to choose one over the other, it's better to have hand sanitizer because you need to do it more frequently. If you get the virus and recover from it, do you become immune or are you still able to get it again? Most likely uh, not. Some viruses you can get again, but your immunity is built to the point where you probably won't even have symptoms. And if you do, they'll be very mild and you'll get over it very quickly. Are there any home diagnosis, you know, remedy, th things that we can do? Home diagnosis, simple. You have a temperature, you have a, a cough, you, you feel a, a little shortness of breath. Consider yourself positive, stay home. Dr. D, just one question for you. If you happen to have had the flu, is there a possibility of you getting COVID-19 like right afterwards? That's an amazing question. And one of the things that the public doesn't know, our standards is if you are tested positive for the flu, we stop there. We don't test you for COVID-19. But in medicine, you get kicked when you're down. So having the flu sets you up for potentially getting the vi another infection quicker. What could I tell my grandparents to help uh, them to not get the virus? Look, my dad is 88, my mom is 80. What is the elderly line? Starts at 60 and it significantly ramps up over 80. So we really want to protect them. And it's not just them not going out, it's the young ones coming to visit them because young people don't have the symptoms and they feel like, I'm all right. And they but come, they're carrying. they hug, they kiss. Of course, we're loved ones, right? and they carry and so they can infect them. So we have to, it, it's not being rude. This is, the, this is the core of social distancing. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.